Hey, it's Kay Lowry, and today we're going to play Chocolate Smoothies by Martha Meir. It's the first piece in the Musical Impressions book. And right now we're going to learn all the notes and rhythms. Grab your pencil. Be sure that you have marked your music with a pencil like I have marked my music. We're going to mark some important starting notes, starting with measure one. Have you marked an E for the first note? I hope you have. Take a look at measure four. That's a B in the left hand. Look at measure five. You're starting with an A on measure five, and in measure six, it is a G. Now, if you take a look at these, <clears throat> the reason this is called chocolate smoothie is because all of these notes that are have the cover the curved line underneath them are actually slurred. And that means that we're going to play it smoothly. And I'm going to give you some tips at the end of this video for slurring notes. And I'm also going to put some links to other videos I've made about two note slurs and three note slurs that might help you. All right, so here we go. We're going to go to the piano and we're going to take a look at how this sounds. And I want you to be at your piano with your music and see if you can play along with me. All right, so let's start with finger three on the E above middle C. And my finger two of left hand is going to be right below middle C on B. Here I go. sure you make these notes. We're going to give ourselves an advantage by writing in some hints to ourselves. At the top of the page, we start with an A, which is the very same thing as what we did on measure five. If you take a look at what we did on measure five, where we had, let's get this purple going here, a, B, C. In measure 13, we have A, B, C. Same thing. Start noticing patterns. It really is helpful. All right. More patterns. Measure 17 is an A, but it is a half note dot. So make sure that you hold all of these notes. 
books for their full value, when you're playing, your eyeball is going to go ahead, but in your heart, be counting one, two, three. In your brain, hear it loudly, one, two, three. Now measure 21, be sure to mark an A, and then in measure 23, did you circle RIT? That stands for retardando. It means slow. Give yourself a hint. And did you circle the fermata in the last measure in both the left hand and the right hand? That means hold extra long. When you get to this middle C right here and you're holding it, you're going to be moving your right hand up to treble C. You can play it with any finger you want. I like to play it with finger two, but you can play it any way you want. Let's take this page to the piano and do it together. You might want to rewind some sections until you can play it at the same speed that I'm playing. Or you could even pause the video and come back and play it together with me. Here we are. This is going to be finger three, A, right here below middle C, and then middle C thumb with my right hand. Ready? Here I go. is look at how we can make it slur. You notice all of these slurs, we've already kind of mentioned it. It means that we connect the sound of the notes. When you lift one finger off, the other finger is going to come on. So I'm gonna show you the side view of my hands and give you some tips on how to make your chocolate smoothie sound really, really good and make sure that you actually make it sound nice and smooth. So here's the side view of my piano. And when I play the first two measures, notice my wrist is up here and I'm gonna play. It's 
Cold rotation. So instead, I say, pretend that my finger is a marker, and we're going to draw a smiley face in the air. So it looks like this. If I were to have a marker, I would be starting on the upper left. I would be making a motion like I'm making a smiley face or a letter U. And in that way, I can connect my notes. and say as you try to get it with all of the notes that are marked slurred.